Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to take a look at the UST Ice Whistle. Alright, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to take a look at this uh, Ultimate Survival Technologies, or UST, Ice Whistle. Now the ICE stands for In Case of Emergency. And, um, you know, normally something like this, heck, you wouldn't even think to do a review on it. But I saw it the other day and I thought, you know, that's one of those kind of neat niche survival items that would, uh, could be used in different ways the way you're going to use it, you know, if you're going to use it for, say, your bug out bag, if you're going to use it for everyday carry. It can be used in so many different ways. So we're going to open it up and take a look at it. This is all aluminum. Let's get this dull shop knife to work here. <laughs> I gotta sharpen it up. Alright. There we go. So it's really simple. I mean, you know, there's not much to it. It's just a simple whistle. Um, definitely loud and piercing. It, it border, it's almost borderline like a dog whistle. It's got that high-pitched voice, uh, high pitched voice, high-pitched sound to it. Now, if you notice, there's something in here, okay? This has a little uh, storage capsule, okay? There's something in here. It's a little uh, bit of paper. Get out of there. Actually, that's a lot deeper than I thought it would be. Now, this paper in here is for writing down your personal information. All right, in case of emergency, please contact your name, relationship, phone number. Um, I don't know that I'd use this. For some people, this is going to be good enough. They're going to write their info on this, put it away, and have it in case they pass out or get hurt in an accident or whatever. This is right here. However, my problem with that is, is how would you know to open this up? You know, you're an EMT guy cutting somebody out of a vehicle, and you just see a, a whistle. You don't think to open it up. So I don't know that I'd use it for that. I think, for me, it's probably going to be a, um, something I strap onto uh, my keychain, kind of like an everyday carry item. Now, this is where the flexibility comes in. If I'm going to use this on a bug out bag or a bushcraft pack or something like that, maybe I want to stuff some tinder in there, some dryer lint, which is my favorite, or a cotton ball, you know, and it's easy enough. I mean, heck, you can, you got a pretty deep cavity in there. You could just stuff that in there. And you've got Tinder ready to go, you know. Or you can do it differently. Let's say you have some medications you take all the time. Blood pressure pills, heart pills, whatever. You know, these are a leave. No, they're not that other blue pill. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, it fits in that side. Let's see if it closes with that. And I like these for, you know, if I get hurt, they're kind of like a Motrin or one of those other type of pain relievers. So you got that in there. Uh, another thought would be a small ferro rod and a little striker. Um, they do, I do have a ferro rod. Unfortunately, it's on a buckle, so I don't want to cut it off. But it's a tiny little ferro rod that would fit in here with a little striker. Might take a lot of work to start a fire, but it's better than nothing. Another idea, water tablets. Now, these are tiny. You could probably fit three or four of these water purification tablets in here. See? Drop them in there and seal this up. You know, and you have something with you. And again, this is like I say, it's very flexible. Um, depending on your mode of carry with it, maybe you're going to use it for everyday carry. Maybe you're going to use it for a bushcraft pack. Maybe you're going to use it for um, camping. Uh, you know, who knows? Maybe, you know, the information inside is all you really want. Um, the other part of it is the whistle. Now, this is something that kind of uh, hit me when I was watching um, videos of the earthquake in, uh, what was it, uh, God, I want to say 89 in California. It was a rather large earthquake, Loma Prieta, that's what it was. And I noticed that a lot of people were trapped in buildings under rubble, and they were still alive. But the biggest concern was that they had been yelling for help for so long they'd lost their voice. Well, if you got something like this nearby, in your pocket, on your key ring, whatever, and you can get to it, you can just sit there and whistle. And you're not going to lose your voice. So it is a handy signaling device. Um, you know, there goes along the lines of, you know, if somebody's following you and there's a cop nearby or whatever, you can blow it for, you know. I don't know so much about that. It would definitely get attention in a crowd. 
Um, it also gives you the ability to signal your friends. You're out camping, you know, and you think you're lost, and you tell your friends before you start camping, if you hear three short bursts of this whistle, I'm lost behind you, stop what you're doing, and, you know, find me. So it kind of gives you a little bit more distance when you're trying to signal, and it also can save your life in a, in a rescue situation, in a search and rescue. Anyway, that's it for today. This is the UST Ice Whistle. Um, it's like two bucks at Walmart. I saw it the other day and I'm like, I have to review that because it's got so many uses. And uh, we will talk to you next time.